If we do any better now, let me do it. You look so tired. Red Prince. A great I think we all remember this conversation. Awful how she I am. Don't. A sudden weariness washes over, bone deep, and the fatigue. Then, sir. I am so. I made sure I'm far enough away that he can't hit us both. Oh, that's good. Because. We need to focus on the big scarecrow because he's the one with the terrify aura and you might want to jump up because if you don't, you're going to be taking a low ground penalty on everything you try to do. Just jump up next to him. I think we confirmed last time that his aura covers the whole freaking battlefield, so... Trying to stay far enough away from him won't work. Teleport him down on top of one of his friends and that'll set him up for me. Then light him on fire. I'm ready. That should get a nice start for you. Yeah, fire is the only thing he's really all that weak to, although air at least is neutral, so favor those, I guess. And I'm gonna grab one of the little ones and drop it on top of him, because it'll damage all of them if you drop him on top of each other. And this gets another one in there for me to hit. So, let's see. They're doing earth. I really wish I had granite plating because that would have given me 50% earth resistance even though it increases physical armor. I just don't have it memorized right now. There. That'll give me some more magic armor to work with. Even if they manage to get through my magic armor, if one of us can just stay up, you might be able to petrify him at this point. Could you put magic armor on me? That would get rid of the terrify. Step one. Then I want you to nether swap me and the big one. Laser ray. Should be able to hit all of them, hopefully. Or at least two. Like that. That good? Should be. Mm, knock that one out. And really put a hurt on that big one. You like clear minded or uh, encourage? Yeah, clear minded would get rid of the terrify because it hasn't gotten rid. It, it'll, yeah, you need to do that or I'll still be terrified actually. Take some clear minded. Okay, that guy's coming my, our way. Okay. 
it's close to going down. Unfortunately, I don't have nether swab or I'd consider using it, but we have to fly back down there next to it because what happened to my wings? Could have sworn or no, you got yours out. I did not get mine. down here because the nether swap was mostly just to get him to move. Laser beam. Okay. Now magic armor going down won't mean instantly just running away. I can do clear mine. I don't need to give you a stat boost now that we're not worried about possibly needing clear terrified. I think I'm just going to hold these last two points. I suppose it was too much to ask for you to both mess. If you want that to happen, you're gonna need blinding radiance or something up. I think impale and the rock would do better. Remember that things like earthquake do take three action points and not two. So if you don't actually need something hitting that massive area and you have other things off of cooldown, please try to use them first. time it might actually be worth using Earthquake just because you kind of need that extra range. I'm just gonna... That was no ordinary Void Woken who spoke. That was the one who leads them. That might explain why that fight was so nasty. But yeah, I don't think our damage has gone up very much since the first time we fought them. I think it's mostly just that we had better armor. Shame that we both already have that one, but... Hopefully the leggings are good. Yeah, we still have not found any new pants. I think we're still wearing the same pants we were wearing when we left Fort Joy. Oh, a bunch of beehives over here. I mean, the one at the chicken coop's easier to get, too, but there's an empty honey jar. And for people wondering why I'm excited about that, because I usually cut the crafting, it's because if the honey jars are actually reusable. When you empty them out, you get them back on, like, most containers in this game. And so you can just get more and more honey for free, as long as you know where to find beehives. Ooh, more honey jars. And if you combine honey with a simple arrowhead which you can buy from a couple of traders in town for very cheap then you get a charming arrowhead which you can sell for a fair profit on their own or turn them into arrows if you have access to sticks or whatnot you can also just buy the arrow 
shafts from the same traders that sell the arrowheads. Either way, you can turn some very low cost or even free ingredients like the honey into charming arrows, which sell for a lot. And we found paladins. I think I think I actually needed to talk to someone who'd headed that way, but we'll get to that. You did you loot all of the, uh, the scarecrows? Empty, empty, empty. I've spotted something. Yeah, it looks like they're all empty. If I have to deal with one more buck looking to court me, I'll take a chunk out of his ear. I bet you're the musical star. You've thought about taking up the loot. I got a few ready to go, all freshly strung. I pay other people to make music for me. Thank you. You never bothered to find the melody in ya. A shame. You just got a look. <laughs> My brother last law couldn't carry a tune in a bucket when he were a wee thing. Now, he's got the voice of an angel. I disagreed. Heartily. Bye. <sighs> ah, my dow. There's paladins up ahead, men of my vintage. Wonder if I serve with any of them back in the war. Okay, well, we'll check that out in a second, but I want to look over here a little bit. Unless you want to go swap war stories with them. the key over there. Sure. Okay, if we're just walking around with tooltips on. Turn milk green and a magister's red coat black. My mistress Alice might fancy you, though. She has a taste for the odd. If she ever makes it back. What happened to your mistress? The magisters with the red coats chased her into the woods. They'll be sorry. Well, I don't think that was Hannock, because Hannock was in the black pits. Maybe the thing that was screaming I'll kill your shining lights and then proceeded to incinerate me a few times over so we decided to leave yeah. in which case she is not coming back uh, we'll investigate that later but for now lavender and charred flesh that's an interesting almost combination only. almost From a series of easy to memorize nursery rhymes comes this pearl. Fly a garrick right and white and red. Should you eat it, you'll drop dead. Uh yeah, it's it's just saying that yeah, that mushroom is you can make poison with it. Which is I. Did she pluck out her own eye? 
You might have... I don't know if it's shared, but yeah, yeah I think that might be the book is. you want. Interaction with the poacher to appease the undertaker. Initiates would bow low with their hands held open. They would then quietly request the feather's blessing. And when prompted, state their intent to save the souls of the fallen. Uh, keep that book in your backpack, because I'm going to want to reread that. So there is a way to peacefully resolve that. I mean, alternatively, we could just take them out for the XP, but if we don't have to, I'm not going to. So... It's just... Why didn't the book in Fort Joy have that? Why did I have to break into a, ran a random witch's house to find that? Why, Larian? I'll need to get clever with this lock. Uh, or more accurately, you will. Just assuming at this point that... Yeah, you might want to put your next civil point into thievery just because we're probably eventually going to find something that... That's... Oh, well, we already have, in fact, found did. something. So Oops. we'll have to come back to this. Would you... I'm going to put a marker down so reach for the keyboard. Need more thievery or key. There. We'll come back to that. I really appreciate it when games let you put your own markers down, especially if they let you name them. I mean, what I think are even better are the handful that let you actually do have like custom notes and even a journal, but. Very few games let you do that, and even with mods, really the only game I can think of that has a good journal mod off the top of my head are Oblivion and Skyrim. A lot of the Morrowind mods that try to add custom journal stuff make the mistake of just putting it in your quest journal because it's a pre-existing like journal interface, right? But then it makes the quest journal even more cluttered than it already is, which just doesn't work very well. <sighs> And cows. Help us. Shush, Mabel. Don't you shush me, Geraldine. I'll talk to whomever I like. Shh, they're still here. I know they're still here. My apologies for my idiot friend, but we could really use your help. How can we help? Won't believe it. They won't believe it, Mabel. Also, maybe quit nuzzling my shoulder. I mean, you're poking a metal spalder. I don't think that's going to feel nice for you. That we are not, in fact, cows. At least not as such. We're people. Captives, to be exact. Enslaved by the witch. Uh, you're not here to visit Alice Elysian, are you? Uh, no, we were just passing through and totally not planning to break into her house. So will you help us? He won't help us. Look at him. Can barely help himself. Yes, sir. Please help us. I can hear you, you know. They can hear us whispering. I know, Geraldine, I know. Now shut up. Look, we really do need your assistance. I like Mabel a lot better. Anyway. How can we help? Just get us something to drink. What my friend here means to say, kind sir, is that there's a cure for our condition. Alice Elysian has it in her house. If we could drink it, we could then regain our former forms, as it were, and steal away. Don't mention the rats. For God's sake, Geraldine. What about the rats? They're just ordinary rats. Nothing special or awful about them at all. Wouldn't let them worry you. Okay, be wary of the rats when we eventually get into that basement. Do you guys know where we can find the witch? What my friend wishes to say is that Alice went into the Cloisterwood collecting herbs and hasn't been seen in some time. But that there, just down the way, is her house. She has a frog. You can't miss it. Would you mind awfully procuring for us a small potion that Alice Elysian keeps in her cellar? 
We'd rather like to, you know, assume our rightful forms and toddle off. Thanks ever so. See what we can do, but you're going to have to wait for a bit because we can't get into the cellar at the moment. Thank the gods. I humbly thank you. You won't regret it. And asking them for milk when we now know that they are not actually cows would seem very awkward. So no. We've, yeah, then that leads back to that troll bridge, but we can just easily warp to the other side when we actually want to go back over there. And, yep, that was the witch. The The map marker has just chosen to, to call it that. Call so. it that. So, yeah, I was the, we were right on that. Yeah, let's investigate a little bit up here, because then we're starting to actually get close to the magic rooster. And then ideally we will have a clear path for Peeper. Yep. There were there was two gold in it. I can see why they didn't go to the trouble to track it down when they lost it. You're a lizard, aren't you? You're not straw. I'm not straw. Why would I be straw? I bit some straw. It was shaped a little like you, but then it moved and threw me off it. Ah, uh, the weird scarecrows. Do you feel okay? The rabbit shakes its head. No, I'm dizzy. I hit my head when the straw man threw me in the air. Poor bunny. If you need healing, I mean, you'd have to stop is the problem. There's no way I'm going to be able to target you otherwise. Well, I think we have found the bridge to the island. A lake of death fog. A lake of and the death bridge fog. Appears to be and the down. bridge appears to be down. Someone wants to discourage Someone visitors. Someone wants to discourage visitors. There must be. A are you gonna say that too? Oh my <laughs> God! Why are we doing this? Why are we like this? <laughs> uh, well, I think spirit sight is what's letting us see these, so that we can hop across. So we can head that way if you want. But, you know, demon-infested island might be a bit tricky. Yeah, I think we have other stuff we need to accomplish first. And we got a waypoint right there. So coming back here won't be a problem. We'll head that way eventually, I promise. Be casting your long shadows around you, mister. This here land's not for your kind. Wow, even the squirrel is racist. Oh, you get back here, little. To auto save. I'm sure there's some horrifying thing nearby, but probably don't care. I'm just gonna follow you and All pick right. up. You know what? Mushrooms. He's gonna keep running away every time I get near him. Then I'm just going to try to take him out from a little further away. Did you just run into the water and possibly drown? He ran into death fog. Well, he's done. I... Well, no, he's not, actually. The squirrel apparently is immune to death fog. Is he one of those Knights of Dre? Yep. Just asking. Done. And if Sir Laura had any opinions on it, he has declined to share them. 
I don't know, the way he was acting, he's probably one of them Knights of Dre. Anyway, back to what we were doing. I mean, we've actually cleared a path almost to the rooster, but there's some stuff going on near it, so let's see. Uh, the Scion works. You do not disturb her. The elven warrior stands guard over a captive magister. The magister looks a little worse for wear. Stay back. The thief stays where she is. Yeah, I'm not going to try to free a magister. It hurts. Huh? Oh, I think it's that elf that was working with the contamination spores before. You recognize Diana, the runaway scion from Fort Joy. Her face looks different, alight with fervor. You! I warn you not to follow! I didn't. I found you by accident. Accident? You... Her face, tight with rage, suddenly slackens. She winces. Forgive. The armor warns of thieves. I do not expect friends. Are you okay? I am better. I find another thief, and the armor reveals much. She gestures at the bound magister and freezes as if listening. Yes, yes. Simpler to show them. Come, watch. Do not touch. Come here, Duran. Ow! The magister's scream bubbles beneath putrid gas and is cut suddenly short. The corpse rocks gently, as if shifting in sleep, and then splits to release surging vines. The creepers knit silently together to weave a pair of gauntlets. Diana tears them free, something close to worship in her eyes. Do you see now? It is a marvel. Impressive. It only begins. The presence within grows to complete the armor. It is a holy act. The thief is unworthy soil from which to grow, but it hurts her, and that is enough. How many spores remain, do you know? Two. My prisoner says they take one to these black pits nearby, the other to arcs. It is said to be a hollow place, stone and fire and filth. I go even so. What are your plans once it's complete, if I may ask? Not my plans. It's plans. The presence within. It shows me such things. A world where we are not prey, but hunters. A world where... where... She grasps her head, as if trying to clear it. It is for us to know. Okay. Okay, you go on your personal quests and we'll go on ours. Yep. I see. But you are no elf. This place is not for you. Its trial is not for you to attempt. If I attempt it, does that prove me a friend of the elves? Very well. You may face the trial. Okay. Cool, let's go. Elves know that nature is a finer weapon than even the sharpest blade. The four seasons have served our people well. Four heroes rest before you, wielders of the seasons. Pay homage to their skills, solve their riddle, and prove yourself worthy of elven respect, if you can. Ooh. 